Hi everyone, it's Jay with more reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Let's go! Ubisoft likes to create games with the name Assassin's Creed so much that I bet if they make a racing arcade game, they'd call it Assassin's Creed for Speed. Today, we have a patient that bears in no way any similarities to a series of games about assassins. Well, I guess since the action happens on the same planet, that's good enough for Ubisoft. Let's meet Assassin's Creed Pirates. In general, the game is awfully similar to the well-known Corsairs series. You play as the captain of a pirate ship, where you attack trade and military ships, pass missions, employ teams. Well, you get the idea. Does that sound like Assassin's Creed to you? Well, graphically, the game is pretty cool. Just look at the water. This might be the coolest water I have ever seen in a tablet game, and all the rest looks good enough too. Except that when the ship sharply slides off away, the texture of the water passes right through the deck. It is cheap and hackneyed, and it spoils a good impression that graphics give a little. In general, despite the game being a little too arcadey, there are a lot of opportunities for fun and adventure in various things. Unfortunately, our format won't allow us to look through everything, so let's just run through the basics. Turns are carried out by swipes on the steering wheel. The move speed is regulated by raising sails. Thus, there are a few positions to adjust through. To stop, you have to drop anchor. If you switch to a deck view, you can see how the team works and fusses about, which helps to immerse you in your role as captain, which isn't bad. Fighting missions also have a bunch of options. For example, it is possible to finish a fight with the strategic use of a sniper rifle in a powder warehouse. There's also quite an amusing system of maneuvers if you want to avoid attacks from your opponent. Well, and of course you have to take into account the recharge speed of the guns. In between such missions, you can visit taverns where you hire crew members, and ports where you can buy cooler vessels. Depending on the level, other improvements and changes can be bought as well. Some restrictions may apply. There's actually a lot more to this game than I can tell you in the time we have. So to put it briefly, despite some silly slip-ups, the game turned out to be quite worthy and much bigger than expected. But what does it have to do with that badass Assassin series Assassin's Creed? You got me there. So what's next? Just Dance, the Dance Assassin's Creed edition? Oops, I killed him again. Nah, 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 nah. Well, that's all for today. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!